जितनी हम प्रैक्टिस कर सकें और हमारे जितने जो हमारा कंसेप्ट हैं वो क्लियर हो सकें जिस तरह से आपने हमें कराया था तो मुझे याद है काफ़ी क्वेश्चन होते हैं से टाइम डिस्टेंस वाले कुछ क्वेश्चन होते हैं एक वो क्लॉक वाले क्वेश्चन होते हैं इन सब में क्या ये क्वेश्चन हमें देखने में बहुत टफ लगते हैं लेकिन अगर हमें ट्रिक समझ में आ जाती है तो वो क्वेश्चन एक मतलब तो बाएँ हाथ का खेल हो जाते हैं आई एम सुनील आई सिक्योर रैंक सेवेंटी सेवन इन यू पी एस हेलो मेरा नाम अंकित है इस साल मैंने यू में निन्यानवे स्थान प्राप्त किया है लेकिन मुझे दोनों ही भारी टफ नहीं लगा और बहुत ही आसानी से क्लियर किया जिसके लिए मैं आपका भी धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं कि आपकी वीडियो से जो भी मुझे हेल्प मिली हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज़ राहुल बलारा आई हैव सिक्योर्ड रैंक 494 इन यूपीएससी सीएससी हेलो फ्रेंड्स मेरा नाम जयश कुमार है और मैं सी एस बैच का आई ऑफिसर हूं और फिलहाल मैं पटना में पोस्टेड हूं। आई डिड माई सी सेट फ्रॉम ऋषि बारगवा सर उसके बाद से मैं ऋषि बारगवा सर से कनेक्ट हुआ और 2022 के टाइम में मैंने सी सेट को अच्छे से कनेक्ट किया मैंने ऋषि बारगवा सर से सी सेट की कोचिंग ली और उसने मेरी काफ़ी हेल्प की है सी सेट कोचिंग विद ऋषि सर एंड इट हेल्प मी अलॉट तो सी सेट माने ऋषि बारगव सर अब सी सेट नहीं रुकेगा अब सी सेट तो नहीं रुकेगा अब सी सेट नहीं रुकेगा आई वॉज ऑल्सो फेसिंग डिफिकल्टी एंड I was thinking what if I fail in CSET so uh, fortunately uh, I I met with uh, Rishi sir CSET maine Rishi sir se kiya tha and CSET maine Rishi sir Welcome to the session today I am here to discuss a very critical part of your civil services preparation all of you must have experienced this year's csat paper it was very different from the previous mm -hmm. paper of course the papers should be seen as the indications what is going to be the next how should we prepare for our exam our approach should never be based on just past experiences you should also be studying from the perspective of what we can expect in future everyone suggest that trend analysis is essential for the preparation but trend analysis is a highly technical task it is not possible for the students with limited experience to really understand the trend because what analysis we may be doing from a generalist perspective is bound to be different from a perspective of the expert in the particular field i have seen lot of videos coming on this year csat discussions but making a video from a generalist point of view i don't think is really helpful to the students to get the insights which they require so here i welcome rishi bhargav sir he is our eminent faculty the senior most faculty in shubhra ranjan ias dealing with the csat aspect of the exam sir has a very good record with respect to the teaching of the civil services examination from the csat perspective and i believe that a teacher need not be just an expert in his field without being empathetic to the concerns of the students at times the results do not come so rishi sir is known for the rapport he develops with the students the empathy he develops because the students also need lot of mentorship and the guidance so because it is almost a time that we should take the right steps and what are the nitty gritties of the csat exam how he conducts this exam how he has taken this year's paper and what suggestions he has for the students for those who are going to prepare this year so now let us uh, talk to rishi sir and he will tell you about his experience as the teacher of csat how over the years the nature of csat paper has been changing yes my greetings to everyone and uh, thank you so much ma'am for your valuable inputs 
yes uh, cset over the years have really changed okay. and last year cset uh, 2023 cset only 10 percent people were able to clear and that's a fact right so there is a lot of uh, hue and cry about unfair csat you know csat for privilege class but frankly you know what i perceive is now they want that uh, you know csat they should be prepared well and uh, you know you have to practice i have been very vocal about it right last year last to last year if you see my videos you would realize that you know uh, year after year number of people clearing the paper have actually reduced Last year only 30% people were able to clear, this year 10% people were able to clear. The paper was tough, yes it was tough because you know all the you know misconceptions of the students that uh, we would do English only, now the English has changed into decision making. So you know it is not only merely reading comprehension, it is more than that, right. Secondly you know most of the students used to tell sir reasoning questions are very very easy. So what they have done is that they have combined reasoning with data sufficiency. Now data sufficiency you would have insight of data sufficiency in GS paper also. Where statement 1, statement 2, statement 1 and 2, none of the statements. So they are mixing things so that you know this uh, idea of students that we would easily clear it, we don't need to prepare for it. It uh, has to be, you know, somewhere down the line, you know, UPSC also understands that there is an idea, so they would go beyond that idea. So I would request most of the students to prepare it. Now there is a, a lot of difference between preparing for CSET and GS ma'am. Uh, when when GS is concerned, you know, students would make the notes and you know, then you know, at the end they would start revising it. But CSET is solving. So they need to solve it. And skills. Yeah. So, uh, for me, I would uh, request Practice that yes, do not go by previous year trends because last year, uh, this year, 2023, they have given only one topic numbers. Everything from numbers. Before that, you know, they were into arithmetic also, permutation, combination, and probability also. This year, they are more into numbers. Secondly, there is no privilege class for this paper. I know so many IITNs and I NIT students, those who were not able to solve the paper. If I can say that instead of sitting, uh, instead of sitting and uh, criticizing UPSC for being a difficult paper, not doing justice or taking it from perspective of social justice, we should be uh, right. We should be actually upright. We have to understand that civil servants have to play a very critical role. And as administration is becoming more challenging because of globalization, interdependence, uh, it is very, very important that the civil servants which our country produces matches to the level of countries which are competing. For example, China is there, for example, the other countries. So at least there is no scope for complacency. So I said that what UPSC did is exactly what was needed. But maybe when we criticize, we have actually not done which we was which we were supposed to do so. Fine. So uh, you cannot put a fault on the examiner. Fine. Paper will be difficult if you are not prepared. If your preparation strategy is not correct. So my suggestion to all the students in whatever field they are studying, just do not live in your comfort zones. Just do not hear the stories that provide you a comfort. Fine. You have to have a reality check. Otherwise, you will be playing with your future. The role of a teacher is not to tell what students want to hear. Rather, what they should be hearing. So, giving a comfort that UPSC should not be doing this is not going to solve the problem. The problem is we have to match to their expectations. Fine, they cannot lower down. If UPSC starts lowering down, then it will be a injustice to the state itself, to the government, to the country itself. So please understand there is a difference between what is right and what we find is comfortable. And as far as this exam is concerned, excellence should be your way of life. 
without being having an attitude to excel without having an attitude to do more than what is expected it is very difficult to swim through this water and uh, preparation is the key so now from sir we would like to know like uh, whenever a new aspirant is going to start there are two types of aspirants two type of aspirants means those who are very new who will be starting now and those who have already appeared and uh, they have not cleared so what should be the strategy and uh, how you can help these students uh, my you know uh, uh, suggestion to everyone is that uh, you know you have to uh, first of all practice anything when you are you know taking csat classes most of the student end up making notes and after making notes you know the same like they do in gs they would you know at the end they would revise it but uh, with the change in the paper i have realized that you have to practice a lot of questions so what we uh, have brought for you is that uh, with the 150 hours of program that we are providing all the details are given over here right uh, we are providing you unlimited zoom sessions so that you know you guys solve it and once you are solving the questions you are finding the problems you can link with us on zoom sessions last year mm we have taken near about 1000 hours of zoom session for problem solving only because csat has problems and problems have to be sorted out it is basic aptitude right and uh, you know i uh, i request you all to you know come and attend uh, 9th of august we are starting 2 to 4:30 so first three classes are free for all right and i request you all to come and join these three classes and i promise you that 2023 csat paper near about 25 to 30 percent paper would be solved in first three classes and that challenge is not by me you know you can read the feedbacks we are going to give you the feedbacks so last year ma'am uh, first three classes of numbers were made free on uh, shubhra ranjan ias youtube channel and uh, the comments given by students were ki sir most of the questions were from those three classes they are still available on youtube ma'am's channel shubhra ranjan ias channel right you can check those three classes or i am going to you know revise those classes and you know definitely we are also adding uh, new concepts as upsc is also adding new type of questions so i challenge you all to please come enjoy those classes just check out the paper from uh, this year onwards so last year last year also csat was tough but this year onwards students have started taking it very seriously i think i've got thousands of students who are asking sir batch kab shuru hone wala hai it's good that uh, you are taking the proactive um, steps and that that is what is expected for any civil services aspirant and when it is your uh, the dream fine so obviously we should not leave any stone unturned towards our cherished goal and uh, always remember things will never come very easily if they will come very easily they will never be precious if something is precious it has a value you have to pay that particular value and of course every success will require a concerted effort very sincere thought and uh, we at shubhra ranjan ias we always try that you get the best of the guidance and it is not the teaching philosophy here is not just giving the guidance but providing mentorship to the students be with the students with their uh, like the teachers providing full time support to the students because that is the only way we can bring out the results so with this session i thank mr rishi bhargav and uh, yeah sir has to add few more things and i invite all of you for the special workshop and the free classes which he is going to conduct so that you can take the informed decision so this year uh, you know with the guidance of ma'am we have also you know started with mentorship uh we would also be doing mentorship for csat which exactly is required now for people those who think they are weak in aptitude uh i don't know what exactly you know is the perception for weak but if there is a issue we are providing mentorship for csat along with that guys we are the only csat classes with results mayur rank 5 is our student 
Swati Sharma is our student. Sunil, Ankit, all of these guys are our students. And the best part is Ankit and Moin, both of them are Hindi medium students and they have been guided by us only. So with results and with you know a great program, I invite you all and please come. First three classes are absolutely free. I challenge you and I you know invite you that uh, once you are through these three classes, obviously you would also love and join this program. Thank you so Thank much, you. man you just reminded that as we know that Shubhra Ranjan IAS is also now providing quality guidance in the Hindi medium and students are realizing the big difference in the way teaching is being done and uh, very soon we will also be launching CSAT program in Hindi medium at our Mukherjee Nagar premise and we will be informing the date of the workshop very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.